The tail has all kinds of uses. Rats balance with it. Foxes cozy up with it. And hippos fling their... their, uh... Yeah, you know, uh, let's not go there. And as for dogs, when they're not running around chasing it, they're wagging it. Until recently, people didn't understand what this remarkable appendage was for. So, why do dogs wag their tails? <laughs> Finnegan is a three-year-old lab mix and an expert tail wagger. Today, he's taking his owner for a walk. Her name is Alexandra Horowitz. She's a scientist, dog expert, and she's been taking a professional interest in Finnegan's rear extremity. OK, Finn. Should we go meet some dogs? Finnegan's tail is extraordinarily intricate. Made up of around 23 vertebrae and encased in a fine web of muscles, it can move in almost any direction. Although it helps him balance, Alexandra believes its main purpose is rather amazing. Her first whiff of its true function came when she began to notice different types of wagging. There are many types of tail wags. You know, Finnegan arriving at the park with excitement and a loose, broad wag is one. That's clear excitement, pleasure, anticipation. Scientists believe it's possible to read the different meanings of the different wags. If a dog recognizes and trusts someone, its tail wags to his right, triggered by the side of the brain that controls sociability. But if the tail wags to the dog's left, the mutt is feeling threatened. This response is powered by the other side of the brain, which controls negative emotions like fear and aggression. The dog's brain-tail connection is so strong, Alexandra says we can tell what dogs are thinking just by looking at the tail. Some low tails are anxious, are submissive, especially a tail that's all the way down between the legs. I got it. That's dog for don't hurt me. And a high, almost perfectly still tail can signal a dog is ready for action. When that happens, something is about to happen. So it could be something aggressive, the dog's gonna jump on another dog, a dog's gonna run suddenly really fast, pursue something really fast. You can just see all the energy built up in the tail, in that bolt upright tail. While it's clear that the dog's emotions are being expressed through its tail, it's not so clear why. Alexandra believes that for pack animals like dogs, talking through their tail is important. With each dog knowing what the other is thinking, they can work more effectively as a team. Tails, essentially, are communications between dogs. They have this one really visible way of saying how they're feeling. You see all this expression of emotion in their tails, uncertainty, anticipation, apprehension, delight, excitement. The saying, talking out of your butt, might be a metaphor for humans, but for dogs, Alexandra believes it's true. And this idea is backed up by some pretty amazing observations. Just as we don't talk to walls when we're alone, well, not usually anyway, dogs don't wag their tails when there's no one around to see them wagging. However, out in the park, wagging appears to be a language all breeds understand. But, yes, there's a but. Dogs with short tails have a problem because other dogs find it harder to figure out how they're feeling. And as a result, some short-tailed dogs can have a tough time making friends. Aww. Not a problem for Finnegan, though. He just can't stop talking. Finnegan is expressing his emotion all the time. It's out there for everyone to see. Just watch his butt, and he'll tell you a tale. On the African savanna, the big game animals are playing a game of hide and seek. In this high stakes match, both hiders and seekers try their hardest to blend in and not be spotted. All except these guys. It's like they're dressed for a party. So, why are zebras black and white? Zebras, 
the wild African horse with the sensational stripes. Biologists have spent decades figuring out why these guys have such standout markings. Let's see what they've come up with. Option one. The stripes allow zebras to tell each other apart because they're as unique as a fingerprint. Option two. Nature's revolutionary air conditioning unit. Black absorbs heat, white reflects it. This difference in temperature could create colliding air currents that suck heat away. Option three. Bizarre as it may sound, perhaps the stripes are for camouflage. OK, I know for us, a horse dressed like a referee sticks out like a sore thumb. But lions, their main predator, are colorblind. From a distance, the big cats might mistake the strips for wavy grass. So, what do you think of those three theories? Well, after years of tests carried out in the field, I can reveal that most scientists now think each of these theories is baloney. <laughs> Biologists from Sweden and Hungary stepped back and looked at the problem from a different angle. Rather than concentrate on the big predators, they focused on tiny parasites that are responsible for a deadly disease known as sleeping sickness. Parasites are carried by a blood-sucking bug that hunts around water holes. It's called the tsetse fly. Incredibly, the black and white stripes could confuse these flying vampires. So instead of landing on zebras and infecting them, they head for an easier target, like an elephant. So, it turns out the zebra's stripes, which have bamboozled the scientists for years, may really be meant to bamboozle the tsetse fly. Good. Time to buzz off. <laughs>